Hello, and welcome to another episode of Movie Spoiler Alert. Today we're talking about the 2011 film, Captain America, The First Avenger. So let's get started. There are a lot of Marvel movies that have already came out and are all interconnected. If you need some refreshers, check out my playlist with plenty of spoilers below. The film begins in 1942, with Nazi officer Johann Schmidt and his men entering into a German-occupied Norwegian town, looking for a mysterious relic known as the Tesseract, which is said to have untold powers. At the same time, Steve Rogers enlists in the US military, despite his various health and physical problems, with the help of his friend Bucky and Dr. Abraham Erskine. Rogers is put into an experimental super soldier program, and it is revealed that the Nazi officer Schmidt underwent an earlier version of this procedure, having some serious side effects. Rogers undergoes the procedure, becoming significantly more muscular and strong. Back in Europe, Schmidt and Dr. Zola begin to use the power of the Tesseract in order to try to take over the world. Schmidt discovers Dr. Erskine's location and has him assassinated right after he completed Roger's procedure. Roger captures the assassin, but the assassin commits suicide in order to avoid interrogation. With Erskine dead, the super soldier formula is lost. With his new powers, Rogers is sent to tour the nation in a colorful costume, given the title Captain America, and is told to promote war bonds. While visiting Italy, Rogers finds out that his friend Bucky's unit went missing in a battle against Schmidt's forces. Rogers teams up with a British agent, Peggy Carter, and the engineer Howard Stark, who, side note, is Tony Stark's, aka Iron Man's, father. Rogers infiltrates the fortress of Schmidt's Hydra organization and frees Bucky and the other prisoners. Rogers battles against Schmidt, who has a red skull-like face underneath his mask, giving him the title, The Red Skull. Schmidt is able to escape, and Rogers returns the soldiers. Rogers and the soldiers attack several known Hydra bases, using advanced equipment supplied by Howard Stark including a circular shield made of vibranium, a nearly indestructible metal. Rogers is able to capture Dr. Zola, but during the capture, Bucky falls from the train and appears to be dead. From Dr. Zola's information, Rogers locates the final Hydra base, and Rogers stops Schmidt aboard a plane from using the Tesseract to cause massive casualties all over the world. The container for the Tesseract is damaged, and Schmidt physically touches the Tesseract, causing him to dissolve into bright light. The Tesseract falls and burns through the floor of the plane into the ocean. Rogers crashes the plane into the Arctic in order to prevent the onboard payload from possibly hurting anyone else. Stark recovers the Tesseract from the ocean floor, and the wreckage and Rogers are unable to be located, so Rogers is presumed dead. Rogers awakens in a 1940s-style hospital room, but soon realizes that something is wrong, and rushes out of the hospital, right into present day Times Square. The S.H.I.E.L.D. director, Nick Fury, then informs Rogers that he has been asleep for nearly 70 years. In a post credit scene, we see Fury and Rogers discussing possible future missions that will affect the entire world. So that was the spoilers for Captain America, The First Avenger. If you have another film you'd like to see me spoil, please let me know in the comments below. Check out movie spoiler alerts on the various forms of social media listed below, and remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.